how do you handle people approaching you in parking lots asking you for money or rides or things like that? What kind of risk or threats do those people represent? And what are some steps we can do to mitigate those risks and threats? There are oh, bad. Yeah. Go to you pond. Yeah. See all the crack horse. What's up? I'm Mike with RKM Training, and I'm here with Tony, and we're at the McDonald's in Myrtle Beach of recent viral internet fame, talking about uh, panhandlers or transients or bums or whatever you want to call them, all right? And what kind of threat that they represent. We're based out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and in Myrtle Beach, there's a big problem with that population. And I put problem in air quotes. A, because it makes people crazy when I use air quotes, they get pissed off about it, and that's funny for me. But B, they don't really represent that big a problem. They spend uh, most of their time trying to avoid negative t attention from law enforcement or from the businesses where they're around. They don't want to get run off. They don't want people annoyed by them or bothered by them. These people that approach you and ask you for money generally aren't the people that are going to attack you or rob you or things like that. Correct. So, Tony, tell me how you came to be in this parking lot today asking me to help you get something to eat. Well, to tell the truth, I was hungry. Right. I asked for food. Yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. Right. I didn't ask for money. money yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll make that clear. I'm in between jobs right now. Right. So things are going wrong. So, I'm just trying to get it straight. The possibility does exist that as you're out and about at businesses and parking lots and things like that, someone could be approaching you and use a story about needing some money or needing a ride or needing some food and use that to get close to you. And uh, particularly if you're a middle-aged, middle-class person, these sorts of things are you know, real fears of yours, but they aren't supported by statistical evidence. That generally doesn't happen. While it's improbable, it's definitely possible. But luckily, if you are attacked or robbed or mugged or whatever in a parking lot, that's literally the best place you could be attacked because you've got open sight lines. Generally, there's people around. There's 700 or something cameras in Myrtle Beach. There's cameras. There's room to move around. You're not pinned in place. You're much more likely to be hurt, uh, robbed, mugged, raped, kidnapped, or whatever yep. by a by a person that you now, know but if you do find yourself in a scenario like that and you are uncomfortable with it there's some simple solutions and me, and, me and Tony that's exactly right me and Tony Move. are gonna run through some of those simple solutions right now if you feel like a person uh, is making you uncomfortable and they're too close to you move. absolutely move just create some space we're gonna create what's called a reactionary gap we're gonna create a six foot reactionary gap so Tony if you take a step three and three yeah his three and my three I'm far enough away from Tony that I'm not going, hey, you weirdo, get away from me and freaking him out, which might make him think that there's something wrong with me, but I'm also not standing right here yeah, where someone could hurt me. Place. Yeah, so right here is comfortable, and if I'm worried about this guy and I think he is going to hurt me, he has to come into that space. And if you see a guy and you don't want to help him, just leave. Yeah, just say, thank you, no. There you go. All you gotta do is politely decline and maintain your space. See, I'm, I'm the most blessed guy in the world. If I see an ugly dog, I'll tell him it's pretty. That's nice I'll of you. I see a little ugly kid. He's a I'll nicer tell guy him than pretty. me. <laughs> no, your kid's probably ugly. Now, let me make now. sure. Now. So I'm gonna put a button right here. Uh, I think I'm right here. Right here, Tony. I'm gonna put a button right here. Make sure you click that if you want to get more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, boom, boom. gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt. This is Mike and Tony from Hard to Hurt. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you, brother. Thank you, bro. Now, I love y'all, and y'all have a great day.